Hey guys, it's Amber. Today I'm going to show you how I do my summer beachy hair. And this is a technique that I use all the time whenever I want this beachy look and I don't want to have to use a curling iron or anything like that. So if you're interested in how I got this look, then go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, so first thing I did when I got out of the shower is just put my head upside down and put a towel on it and just wrap it up. I didn't brush through it, comb through it, anything like that. Just put it up exactly how it was when I got out of the shower. Then I went ahead and got dressed, did my makeup, did anything else I need to do. So the towel is able to absorb some of that water and it's just kind of been that weird kind of wavy way it is when you twist it up in the towel. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and take off the towel and you can see how my hair is just kind of separated and how it's just kind of started to wave out a little bit. That's what we're going to emphasize upon. So what I'm going to be using is this curly sexy hair curling cream and the reason why I like using this is because it does help accentuate waves a little bit where I don't have any natural curl this is something I look for now if you do have a little bit of natural wave to your hair you probably could just use a light gel but you don't want to use anything sticky because if you use something sticky like when it dries and you let go your hair is just gonna start frizzing out it's gonna stick to your hands too much so I'm just gonna work this through my hair And now I'm just going to start scrunching my hair up with my fingers. You can kind of pick out a part there. My hair parts usually in the same place pretty easily. Okay, if your hair is pretty straight like mine, you might still need a little bit of help. So what I'm going to do is just take some sections of my hair and just twist it up. And you can use like a little clippy or a bobby pin to secure it. It doesn't have to be any special rhyme or reason. And I'm not going to let my hair dry like this. I'm just going to let it sit like this for about 10 or 15 minutes just to kind of help emphasize a wavy pattern. Now if your hair already has some waves, you can just go ahead and skip this. Okay, so I went ahead and put it back up in my towel and now I'm just going to let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Not long enough for it to dry, but just long enough for a little bit of that moisture to get out of my hair for that product to kind of seep in and help give it a little bit of hold in kind of a wavy shape. So I'll let this sit for a bit and I'll get right back to you. Alright, we're ready to take a look. So I don't want to undo the waves, I just want to kind of finger through them a little bit. You can see we're just going to start getting a little bit of that beachy wave look. Now this is great to do when you just have a lazy Saturday and you just throw your hair up in a towel and then you take it out and think, now what do I do with it? My hair's not really curly, it's not really straight anymore, what should I do? Or if you spent the day at the pool or at the beach and you have to go home and shower and get ready again, you can throw your hair up in the towel like this, then you know, hurry and put your makeup on and everything, and then when you take it out, you'll at least have something to start with as far as a style. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and just let this air dry and have just like a loose wave if you didn't want to have um, any heat on your hair, but I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry it and so I can get a little bit more out of it. So if you have just a regular blow dryer, you can do what I was doing and just kind of blow the hair and just scrunch it up while it dries to kind of enhance that wave. 
or you can go ahead and use um, a diffuser which just has these little prongs and the air comes through that. What that does is kind of distributes the air so that it doesn't create frizz and it, the hair can kind of wind around here and kind of help emphasize the wave. mentioned before I do not have any curl in my hair like if I let my hair air dry it dries just straight it'll bend a little bit at my shoulders but I don't naturally have any wave I have to straighten out every morning so this is just something I've kind of created with the techniques that I've done so there's a couple of other products that I like to use to put in my hair um, if you have thicker or coarser hair you can go with um, something like the Redken Tousle Whip and this is a really light styling cream, but it just adds soft texture and separation, but it doesn't ever have a sticky or stiff feel. Um, another thing you can use is a sea salt spray. And this one is from Redken, it's a Radiant Sea Spray. And this is from their Nature's Rescues line. And the theory behind this is it's the salt in the water at the beach that kind of helps your hair clump together and dry in that kind of beachy, chunky, wavy, uneven texture. It has some ingredients that are supposed to mimic what the salt does for you and help kind of clump the hair together a little bit. And this one in particular has a really nice smell. Then I'll give it one last shot with the blow dryer. Alright, so my finishing touch and my like little secret that works the best, and this also works if you have naturally curly hair and your hair starts to like droop down at the end of the day, you want to get a really dry aerosol. And what I mean is something that is dry on contact that's not going to leave, sorry I have a hair somewhere and it's tickling me. You want a really dry hairspray that's going to leave your hair dry on contact. The one I like to use the best is the Vavoom Freezing Spray. And what I like to do with this is kind of lean over and spritz into my hair and then just go ahead and do the same thing where I kind of grab it. And you're going to see my hair is going to start getting really big here. Because it's dry, it freezes the hair on contact and so you can just kind of work it up. So if you run home and your hair is naturally curly and it's just kind of blot out by midday, this is a great thing to do to just kind of perk it up. You don't want to use anything wet though because then it'll weigh your hair down. Okay, so can you see the difference between this side and this side? Yeah. You probably didn't really think that a hairspray could help make your hair curlier. This also can work if you curl it with a curling iron and want to just get a little more volume out of it can work the exact same way. So I like to get it a little bit bigger because it's always going to fall a little bit. But this is pretty much my finished look here. Kind of a nice natural kind of irregular beachy curl and then Depending on my mood, you can throw in like a little flower or something to kind of give it that beachy feel. It's also cute to kind of just pull back, you know, in like a side pony or, you know, lots of different little things you can do with it once you've got that texture in there. But this is how I like to do my summer beach wave. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!